here about the uh, value collector. Java, only Java, any compiler. Compiler provide the garbage collector for what? Program language. Because the what main purpose of the program language is to convert the high level language to instruction, or that instruction will be loaded into the memory with the data. Temporary data or dynamic incre increase of data. Problem is we'd like to save the space of the memory. So some of the data are it's just temporary use and the no longer use. It's just as a pointer, like the dangling pointer. So in your program language, <coughs> go from time to time, check the heap area, and the stack is may usually the okay because that is the, the just a temporary use uh, so for using the stack structure. But heap area is a lot of such a, a lot, not a lot, but uh, there it exists. So you can from time to time check the pointer whether there is a use or not, the valid one. That is a garbage collection. But the Java actually automatically the learn the GC, the garbage collector structure, is not recommended to learn the explicitly. But if you are using the like the <coughs> image processing, it uses a lot of uh, the array and the temporary space because there is a number of uh, frame images. At the time explicitly you can run the garbage collectors. Okay, then the, we learned about the file. We learned about the directory, directory manager a number of files. These are the main component of the file system. In your project, you do not the implement a directory structure. Instead, we will implement such a to manage the number of files. Then, once, so I mentioned about the file system is, for example, right here. It can be partition for each partition, a number of partition. We can use the different file system. So, what about the, your USB stick? So, many of the students answer USB is the storage. It's not storage, USB is the it's a bus type. It's a universal. So, it's a, the general type of bus. So, we are going to use the USB for what? Sometimes you can use a USB for charging. You can use the specific pin. Or the, the for the charging. Or the, you can use the storage, you can use the light, you can use the many other. It's a universal type. So, however, so let's say the, uh, the we, I have the USB stick for the. So, here it has the data inside, okay? It's used the memory, the data memory, so it's non volatile so we can still keep the data without power. So if I plug in the USB, so it will be auto automatically recognized because the, 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 the driver information, a driver, the program is already in the, because it's using the USB, the, the universal, the, uh, the standard. So then it will be recognized by the, your the operating system. Does it have the file system? Yeah. Yes? Oh, no? Definitely yes. Without file system, we need to use the raw device directly using the disk name, track number, section number, cylinder number, then we need to access. But uh, right now, we do not. So which means it has a file system. So when I connect to the operating system, it is recognized that the operating system can the read the data from here, which means each file system can have the, their own web free structure eventually file. This can be mounted. This is called the mount to be connected to the another file system. That is called the mount. So at that time, so for example, this is a USB. This is an existing one, okay, existing file system. If you want to connect this directory structure, uh, this the USB, the file system to the point on the user, then users is called the mounting pointer. So because of the this, one file system, one operating system can use the many different file system by mounting. So 
For example, in this case, the disk, the USB can be mounted. This is called the mounting pointer. Mounting pointer is nothing but the directory name. So you can create the directory that always can mount with the different file system. Okay, for example, this is one of the examples of the Unix system. If you type, why don't you go to the computer and type the mount? That issues the all the mounted of different file systems. How many? So almost 20 file systems are mounted when the system starts. Okay? So this is a, for example, if you want to see the details of your the disk, so you can use this is a very popular command, DF, the disk file system. It shows all the statistics of your mounted and the disk file system. Minus K means K usually used for what? Kilo. It's a K unit. So using the K unit, all this value is based on the K. Okay, then you see the whether it's mounted on the, this is a mounting pointer. This is a mounting pointer and this is a side used or available. You can easily see uh, what is the capacity remaining of your file. So this is a very, very popular uh, command. The uh, DF minus K. Choose the mounting point. Okay. So what time is it? It looks like uh, 10:45. 10:45. Yeah. So next class we will see the little bit more about the file sharing. It's a, so we talk about the file and the directory. That those are used for the uh, the file system. And the plus the, the regarding to the mounting. The remaining part is the security. How to manage the access. So we will see the. It's not very difficult. So we will see the how to share the file. Uh, using the access method, okay, access control. Okay, so we will see. We do not have time. Well, definitely next class we will have a quiz.